everyone, I'm Samantha and I'm back for another week of story time with Growing Home Southeast. If you're new here and haven't heard about Growing Home Southeast, we're a nonprofit foster care agency located in South Carolina and we also have another location in Alabama. We do foster care, adoptions, and other community-based related services. This week we're reading Elmer by David McKee. This is one of my favorite stories. Be sure to stick around after the story for some questions that you can answer with your family. Let's get started. Elmer by David McKee. There once was a herd of elephants. Elephants young, elephants old, elephants tall and short, fat and thin. All were different, but all were happy and almost all were the same color. All except Elmer. Elmer was not elephant color. He was patchwork. Elmer was yellow and orange and red and pink and purple and blue and green and black and white. It was Elmer who kept the other elephants happy. Their games and jokes were always his idea. If an elephant was laughing, the cause was usually Elmer. But Elmer himself wasn't happy. Who ever heard of a patchwork elephant, he thought. No wonder they laugh at me. One morning, just as the others were waking up, Elmer slipped away. As he walked through the jungle, Elmer met other animals. Good morning, Elmer, they said. After a long walk, Elmer found what he was looking for, a large bush covered with elephant colored berries. Elmer caught hold of the bush and shook it until the berries fell on the ground. Then Elmer lay down and rolled over on the berries, this way and that. He picked up bunches of berries and rubbed himself all over until he was covered with berry juice. When he had finished, there wasn't a sign of any yellow or orange or red or pink or purple or blue or green or black or white. Elmer looked like any other elephant. On his way back through the jungle, Elmer passed the other animals. Good morning, elephant, they said. When Elmer rejoined the herd, none of the other elephants noticed him. As he stood there, Elmer felt that something was wrong. But what? He looked around. The same old jungle, same old blue sky, same old rain clouds, same old elephants. The other elephants were standing absolutely still, silent and serious. Elmer had never seen them so serious before. It made him want to laugh. Finally, he could bear it no longer. He lifted his trunk and at the top of his voice shouted, Boo! The other elephants jumped in surprise. Elmer was helpless with laughter. Then the others began to laugh. Too bad Elmer isn't here to share the fun, they said, laughing harder and harder. And then the rain cloud burst. When the rain fell on Elmer, his patchwork started to show again. Oh, Elmer, gasped an old elephant as Elmer washed back to normal. You've played some good jokes, but this has been the biggest laugh of all. What will we do without you? We must celebrate this day every year, said another. The day of Elmer's best joke. All of us elephants will decorate ourselves in his honor, said a third, and Elmer will decorate himself elephant color. And one day each year, the elephants color themselves yellow or orange or red or pink or purple or blue or green or black or white and have a parade. If you happen to see an elephant in the Elmer's Day Parade, who is an ordinary elephant color, you will know it must be Elmer. Elmer the elephant always felt different because he was different colors than all the other elephants. Is there a time in your life when you have ever felt different than your peers? One of Elmer's best traits was that he made all the other elephants laugh and made things a little less boring in the elephant herd. 
What's one of your best qualities? At the end of the book, all of the elephants decided to throw an annual parade to celebrate Elmer and his differences. What are some things that you can do to celebrate your differences as well as other people in your community? Thank you guys so much for joining us for Storytime this week. I'll see you next week. Bye!